See the sad idiot, this is Sly He's never listened to this album He knows this album will probably be bad So he had an idea What if every time he rates a song And a 5 out of 10 He takes one shot of booze This is you snooze your booze Welcome back to you snooze your booze, babe Here with Funky Blood Jonathan Davis uh Uh, Funky's been listening to a lot of new Korn albums. Kind of regretting listening to The Path of Totality, which we're listening to today. The dubstep one. Yeah. Yeah. What do you know about this going into it? Like, have you heard any songs off of it? I have heard, like, a, se a few seconds of it, like, a year ago, and that's it. I haven't heard it. You heard it, yeah, then stop. It's like, this isn't for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Um, I have heard one of these songs when I was younger, uh, back on my, the old MP3 days, I had, um, Narcissistic Cannibal on my MP3 player. So I, I've got some nostalgia for that one. That one probably will cloud my judgment on that one. But yeah, essentially the uh, rules, uh, any, we're going to write each song out of 10 and anything yeah. you write under a five, take a drink. You take a trigger drink in your case, in my case, it would be take a shot. Got big old bottle of Jameson here, track one is uh chaos lives yeah. in everything yeah oh, you're already poor and you're... <laughs> it's gonna be that bad i had it for like a month now sitting in the fridge so it's a good occasion to drink it <laughs> why is this why is jonathan davis so far down in the mix Jonathan Davis. What the fuck is this piece of shit? But Kill Mercy Within featuring noise yeah. I hear it by the way. It's such a product of his time. It's like a time castle. This is sound is just dead. Sure is. Just fuck it. Well, this is probably like the one Imagine Dragon song. It's like. Ready, aim, fire, I have no whatever. Idea. I have no idea what the guys go. Please tell me they didn't write these. Like, like I, I can't. I wouldn't believe you. I. Ugh. Oh my god. This was just annoying. I hate it. Yeah, it's like with the, with a corn album. I feel like the the biggest thing you're supposed to get is the emotion out of it, right? Even if the lyrics aren't bad, even if the instrumental is horrendous, what emotion mm -hmm. are you supposed to pull from this? Like, like I don't get what it's trying to invoke in me, like at all. Like, I guess it's just trying to be strange for the sake of it, but um, I, I it's definitely a change of pace because their last album, Corn uh, Free, was basically so out of ideas and so lackluster that they needed to name it corn free because no one would pay attention to it otherwise this is something new for sure but i wouldn't say um they're do they're playing into their strengths at all i think I'll, i think a big problem with this too is just looking at the track list and all that like you can't really have a consistent noise you've a different producer on almost every song right yeah that's right There's there's no way to have like a consistent vision with that. I love how genius this. This been out since 2011. Genius don't even know what this song is about. <laughs> you you were talking about oh I don't want an album that's going to be all bad. Then you give me this. <laughs> this really do say a lot about society. I'm reading in the genius. Over? Right. <laughs> it's over. That's over. I think that was worse than the first one. Honestly. Yeah, I feel that as well too. Um, That's what I'm saying, like, like one was a little too low on the first one, because I knew more shit was coming. <laughs> yeah, that's why I gave it a 1 plus. I would give this song a solid 1 out of 10. <laughs> a solid 1. Strong 1, Fantana stuff. <laughs> that, that was a 2 for me. Yeah. Let's go for shot number 2. <laughs> 
Ooh, like you're not excited for this album? This is peak right here. Uh, you just you just don't understand it. You're not on a lyrical, spiritual, individual basis like Jonathan Davis. <laughs> he sure is cooking up something with this album. I can't <laughs> say it's gonna be all that well thought out at all. Oh, it's a masterpiece. I'm feeling a strong 10 on this one. My Wall. Trump? Excuse me? Oh, God. What is this? This is not so right. We're going into the Matrix. The, the, they're trying to emulate something. I can't put my finger on it. Like, he's trying to be someone. This mix is garbage. Yeah, the mix itself. Like, you, you would think with these like, high-level producers would be a lot better, but now he's so far under. Here's the, the instrumental. Here's Jonathan Davis. Like, yeah, the beat is also like really buzzing and glitchy and really yeah. terrible. I hate it. I've seen the genius for the stuff. Apparently, this was their last album they made without Head. Head came back after this one. Maybe yeah. but the sound was so bad. Like I haven't heard a single guitar riff yet. Like hmm. at least when there was other collaborations with other artists and producers, at least they they take the elements of what makes the band work and then add their own flair to it. This just seems like yeah. Jonathan Davis singing over a Skrillex song or an Excision song. Like, let's just let's just, just go ahead and get this ready. Uh, you like you? You're trying to get me drunk today. I see what's happening. I see. Try that. Make, make me let my guard down, huh? Oh, oh God, man. I'm losing my mind. I am too. Yeah. I I am too. After all that setup, too, like it just makes it worse. <laughs> this is just cursed. Yeah. Yeah. It is, it is so, like, this one is clear to what the song's about. It's about putting up walls like, in yourself, but, like, it's so surface even, level. I can't even focus on the lyrics because the instrumental is so shit. Right. Yeah. Oh, my, the feelings I make will finally drown. What a bar. Oh, shit. Jonathan. Okay, it's over. Yeah, um, it's over. That song was bad. That's it. I don't know. I, I got about nothing. putting up walls, but it was very shallow in the way that it talked about it. Very surface level. Uh, yeah, pretty much. That's, that's strong and too. More. How many shots is that? that this, the three shots? Three for three? One minus to a solid one. Okay, this next song I do know. and This song is actually okay. This is a single. This is the one I remember. Uh... I had as a kid, I had it on my MP3 player. I mean, I say kid. How old was that? I was probably like 12, 13. I see that it did some numbers. It has almost a hundred million streams right here. Compared to all the other songs, well, there's one with 66. It's, it, he doesn't want to be me. Fuck. No, oh, no. Okay, this is kind of. Yeah, 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 they spent some time on this one. Like, it seems like like mixing still awful, but. Right. It's got a better progression to it than the first couple. No, I, 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 to me, it feels like coming undone. If coming undone wasn't hard in any way, but it wasn't heavy in any way. It's so, like the vocals are pulled from a different song and put right. Up I'm gonna tell you, 12 year old me was getting the lyrics wrong every time. These were not the lyrics I was singing. <laughs> Alright. Dubstep break. Nice little breakdown. Boom, da, dum, da, 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 da. Has not aged well, I will say. <laughs> so, do you still like it? No. <laughs> it, it definitely is the best yeah. song on this album so far, I, I will say. Yeah, I but... guess so too. But I, I, I think that's pretty ass too. It's pretty, but I will. I, I'd give that a mid. I think like a five, like like right right in the middle. Like it's not good in any way, but it's like the best we're gonna get. I would give that song a four minus. Honestly, the four minus. alternative vocals on top of these very harsh electronic beats 
uh, still yeah. doesn't work, even though the the beats do go hard. There is some good structure in there. It's just that Jonathan Davis has no idea what he's doing. Yeah, no, yeah, no, I agree, hundred percent. Yeah, there is no passion to this whatsoever. It's very like, okay, let me sign that dotted line. <laughs> I'm gonna get paid for this. Okay. Illuminati. What the heck? What the fuck is the filter? What is his like like obsession with rape? Even in like original yeah. little corn mm. albums, like he that's something they, they talk about a lot. Yeah, I feel like they, even their monasteries that right. It's like he just likes to be like, oh no, I'm not talking about that rape. I'm talking about like like mental rape. Uh, I, they they want to be cool and edgy. They're like ah. Oh, also, oh. also she also she also she said cope a few lines ago. Hmm. So that's it. Well, at least I can hear him on this one, but God, like. So I guess this one is like conspiracy, bullshit, something like that. It, is it? Oh, oh fuck! Man. It's directed to um, what something. And I, I wouldn't say it's bad, like writing wise, it's just kind of confusing. Yeah. Yeah, no, literally in the About on Genius, this song is about Davis's hate for the Illuminati. He, th he even said that oh, he thinks Obama is an Illuminati puppet. Damn. Damn. I guess this is this part is a breakdown. What's your, of the, the core albums you've listened to, what's your favorite one? Uh, this is I would. Something, yeah. I didn't want to drink this much this morning, man. God. I'm about to pass out. About to pass. I am too. I'm about to have a stroke. What? Direct. Target destroyed. The guy to a little Facebook mom for me. A little conspiracy for sure. meme. Like. For sure, man. Yeah. What do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken Get it. Get it. This one about okay, Obama, too. Get some slow music beats right here. But it. It hurts. It hurts so bad. At least bring out a bagpipe or something, man. I miss those, that's what it's called. Uh, this is just demonic, not not cool way this is horrible. I'm wearing it. a ghost shirt, this sounds more demonic than ghost. <laughs> this just seems like he went in, like deep down the conspiracy rabbit hole, watched a few too many like Jordan Peterson videos, and now he's, he's on a whole other yeah. planet. Burn the Great. obedient! Whoa! Bars! Go to Shigo hard. I you think know, that's the worst one so far. And, that that, that and, one's... Yeah, that's, that's another one. Uh, what's crazy about that, though, is... Um, like, do you notice how much more he's delivering the vocally, though? On, on those last two? Direct. So, whenever he got really conspiracy-ridden, whenever he started, like, like, actually spitting, like, his actual beliefs, that's when he started actually vocal performing. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. It's like, hey, let's let's make a couple filler tracks real quick before you start going all red pilled, all sicko mode. Like the rest of the band is like, like cool it. Like we'll sneak two in on the album real quick, but you, you gotta cool it down with this stuff, man. He's like, Obama's a lizard person. The the execution is unlistenable, and that song was horrible. I would give that song like a one minus out of ten. Yeah, no, that, was, that was pretty bad. That was sheer chat. What ever. Uh-huh. Sanctuary. Yeah. I love Joji. Sure. Reverse sample. This is like the lowest string song here, too. Cool. Like Bit Crush kind of like. Okay. I just feel gross. Like, ugh. It's a Thing this album is going for, you know, with using dubstep and alternative rock in horrible ways. This beat kind of goes hard. Yeah. I must. Say. It's yeah, I... futuristic and 
kind of plays to D Davis's strengths a little bit, but yeah. um, I can't say it's for a good result. I don't know. It, it, I, I liked it until it got to like the switch up, like like or the chorus or whatever. It, it kind of got a little muddy for me. I guess it's a little ambitious, so that's worth something. I thought it was Shoji. I kind of like how it's playing with his vocals, kind of like yeah, how it's building. Too. Yeah, it's doing something kind of good, maybe. Right. What? Okay, this is bad. Okay. I'm gonna pretend like this part of the song doesn't exist. I don't know. Up until now, it seems like this downlink producer like knows how to better play with Jonathan Davis rather than just throw him on a Skrillex song. Kind of reminds me. It's weird to say, but the song "Spiders" by Slipknot, kind of. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say it's absolutely terrible. Instead of going to a somewhere high, it just kind of stays in the same place with the chorus. If you were going okay. to tell me that Korn made a, a, an electronic album, this is the kind of shit I'd expect. Right? Alright. Um, so that was definitely one of the best songs so far, yeah. but um, I don't know, the screaming and the fucking pitch would... vocals kind of sucked sometimes. And At the end there, if that section wasn't in it, I probably would have given it a 6, but I think I'm feeling yeah. a 5 on that one. I would give it like a three. But even five, after admitting this, it's still kind of there is no catharsis. Wasn't up to my, my punishment continues to elude it me, did kind of go and I gain no deeper point. knowledge I of myself. No new knowledge. Yeah. Uh, so I guess I'll take a drink to that one. Yeah, I'm gonna take the break on that one. See, see, see that, that's the thing. That's one of the reasons why the like, I think this series is so genius. If we're listening to mm. a bad album, the more we drink, the better the album's gonna get as we go through. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. The, the more liquor we got in us, the better the album's gonna be. Alright, there's four songs to go. Let's fucking finish this thing, or... Okay. Let's go. Where are we going? Wonderland. Hell yeah. Oh, Let's go. oh my god. No, no. I don't want it. Why I don't want it. Going on? Just stop. Okay. Uh, this is definitely one of the heaviest ones so far. I, I wouldn't say, say heavier, but he's definitely, like, he's a lot more energetic with his vocals. Like, well, that's a good thing, I guess. <laughs> Slap bass? Yeah, I hear it too. I don't know why it's there for no reason. Sonfell thinks songs are playing? He's woke. He won't be led astray. Sure, John. Maybe you need to go sit down. Take some. Take a hit of oxygen real quick. I'm, I'm just dumbfounded. What is going on here? I don't know what it is. I'm just a little empty. Just, just why? Holy shit! <laughs> Fucking hell, man! Fucking hell! That's that, that. That was a three. Yeah, I would give that some of a solid one out of ten. What the fuck is this piece of shit? All right, the next. Like, like, this is the a, next a big song. Of this album, right? This is a big song. I think so. Sounds like a video game music, like like, like a. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Clearly. The wobs are scary. I can't get into this. It's just so distracting. I need to do it. Oh my Unless there is no food going up this. I can't tell anymore. Oh, and it's censored. Amazing. Uh, the wobby face. The wub, you can't, they're such a product of their time. Like, like nobody could get away with that these days. Like, yeah. 
Actually, I don't think I, I hate the, the whenever it gets the chorus instrumental. It's just before that I hate. But this yeah. part isn't terrible. I guess the chorus is fine. Okay, now it's the pure depth that's fine. Uh, Oddly sexual. <laughs> oh. Mm, I, I don't know. I the man got his dick stuck in a toaster. Please tell him. Like I don't hate the chorus. Yeah, there is something right in this song right here. No, no. But... Shut the fuck up! Get up! Stand up for the flag, motherfucker. All right, um, I guess I get it why that song got huge because of that chorus and just the grandiosity of it. But um, that was probably one of the most horrendous instrumentals on this album. It was yeah. just terrible. Yeah. What, what would you rate that? What was? What was Give it like a three to a three plus. Three to three mm. plus. That's fair. I think I'll do a four. Look at little Goblin Jr. Just because I don't think I've given out a four yet. I'm gonna cry. Whoop, dear. Hmm. Kinda. Is that like a horror movie or is it like a. like a buzzer? Yeah, I guess it's doing something right. Um. It doesn't, like, it doesn't sound like us. Like, you know, so. Alright. Not as corny. So corny as hell. Yeah, but... I, can, I can tell that uh, Davis is feeling kind of comfortable in this. You know, yeah. Not like, and it's fitting. <laughs> this one really plays on the fear of like paranoia and things like that. Like, <laughs> I think the instrumental actually matches in this case. Whenever he starts to get in introspective about it, the instrumental lightens up. This sounds pretty dated. I, I can't see Yeah, all these dubstep breakdowns. You're not really done anymore. The only real genre that still does that now is like metalcore. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. But they do it in a different way. They do it more with like their vocals, like like just. I'm not one of your demons! They, they do that like two or three times and then they scream and then it's middle breakdown. Yeah, I guess. Alright, alright, alright. So I, I guess that that's one. my. So? What? I didn't hate that one. Yeah, me neither. I think that's my favorite song in terms of the writing. Like the combining of um, the corn style and the dubstep style. In, in a way that doesn't actually make it unlistenable and somewhat catch me kind of... I agree. Listen, you know, yeah, um, I would give that song like a 5 minus because the instrumentals were kind of unknown starter. But um, it's definitely one of the best um, packet, musical packages of this album. i definitely rather listen to anything. Like, like, see, what's crazy about it is I'd rather listen to any other Korn album. And I'd also yeah. rather listen to any other dubstep out. The, the, the yeah. combination just isn't right. Yeah, I, I say so too. I, I have heard uh, Skrillex's debut EP and it was pretty okay. good. Is that uh, Scary Monsters and Ice Bright or was that something? Yeah, it was. Um, yeah. Alright, last song. Last song. Bleeding out. Piano on corn. Is that normal? I don't think so. Sounds like a lo-fi trap beat. I guess it's true. But like Mike Shinoda produced. Like, I guess it's setting up something right now. I think I've been so spoiled by good albums lately, like like good like concept albums, that like just random mindless like single albums like this just kind of irritate me. All right. Does not match his voice at all. At all. It feels like he like like this was meant for another artist and they gave it to Jonathan Davis. V 
very generic EDM style. This is your build up. Yeah. You, usually you'll have a drop right here. Something a bitch you would do. It's like an EDM song without a drop and with a chorus instead. Yeah, this straight up feels like it wasn't made by Korn. This feels like it was made for someone else. And had they had him sing on it. Uh -huh. like, I can imagine like a like a female vocalist on this or some shit. I I can imagine too. There's the bagpipes! Oh, there's Rose, there's bagpipes! Oh, there are! Hell there yeah! Are Hell yeah! Finally, some good... Finally, some good yeah. fucking music! I mean, the addition so of the bagpipes what? obviously makes it a 10, right? Yeah, it makes it a little bit interesting, I must say. So, uh, did you like it overall? Uh, that last song, uh, I, I would give a, uh, like a, a 4. I would give okay, it a little three Kaplan minus Jr. a solid free. No uh, cry. The producer's directing and pretty bad. And uh, Aphis was doing something interesting, but I just didn't care overall. It's just Please pretty bad song. So I ended it all up. Uh, total overall yeah. on that album. Uh, I think I'd give this album a three. <laughs> What the fuck is this piece of shit? That should have never been made. I could see like a I three agree. song EP or something, sure. You just want to collab uh -huh. with some artists, cool. I'm told they yeah. that. But, yeah, put the uh, like Narcissistic Cannibal, uh, what were the other two? Uh, that we did like, uh, Way Too Far um, and like uh, Get Up. Sanctuary was okay, kind of. Sanctuary, yeah. Maybe those four songs on the EP. That wouldn't have mm -hmm. upset me as much as a full-length album. Yeah, I hated it a bit more. Uh, I would give it like a strong one to a light two. Uh, most songs on this album are unlistenable, pretty annoying, and uh, just excruciating. There were some okay hooks and writing choices that I thought were pretty neat, but... Uh, for the most part, this is one of the worst albums ever made. I agree. The the weird conspiracy, like little arc he had in there was kind of weird too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was nonsense. That, that was his most passionate performances too on the album. Like like I, they're letting me say what I want to say. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, comment some more terrible albums. I'll do this again. I'm thinking about doing like either Falling in Reverse or Madden Dragons next. Check out uh, FB's channel. Uh, I'll put there'll be a link in the description and probably some main cards and things as well. I think you've done a lot of like Bjork. Uh, yeah. Lot yeah. Of, uh, he's he's a lot more actually good at analyzing music than me. I'm very very early on in my album reacting. Oh. Uh, things. I, I looked at your album year you had like over a thousand. I just had like a hundred. Like oh okay. So if, if you want <laughs> someone who actually knows what they're talking about, go go watch Funky. <laughs> Oh, thank you, thank you. I've been doing this for like two years now, so I can say I'm an expert on it, but I do uh, think about music when I want to listen to it. And um, yeah, thanks thank for watching. Thank Subscribe to both our channels. Hey, better and, outro. Goodbye. Yeah. Thank you for your patronage.